All right, guys, it reads, a 24-year-old woman presents to the emergency department with complaints of feeling detached from her body. She reports that this began in her late teens, but has been occurring more frequently since she moved to the area and started a new job. What is the most appropriate diagnosis? All right, and our answer choices are A, somatic symptom disorder, B, conversion disorder, C, depersonalization, D, derail derealization, or E, dissociative identity disorder. Now, whenever you see the answer choices like this, you know they're kind of leaning toward, do you know the dissociative uh, disorders? And that kind of explains what this question is, is, is asking. We're looking for a diagnosis, all right? So let's just look through a few of these by definition. Somatic symptom disorder. Now, that is just going to be an extreme focus on symptoms, okay? And when we need symptoms, it's kind of like things that we really can't explain objectively. So this is going to be our pain and fatigue. If you can just kind of think of it like that, you know, someone has all this pain, can't be explained, all the fatigue can't be explained, it's going to drop into the somatic symptom uh, disorder, okay? And typically, uh, we have females greater than males uh, uh, from a demographic uh, perspective. Conversion disorder. Now, conversion disorder effect can affect sensory or motor, okay? And again, there's an impairment there that causes emotional uh, that can cause emotional distress. Uh, there's no longer that uh, the I don't care thing. Now that's, you know, it can be part of the definition, but it's not part of the diagnostic uh, criteria anymore for this. But there's maladaptive, uh, you know, maladaptive behaviors. You've got emotional distress. You've got sensory or motor, motor impairment, not better explained um, through, in, through any type of explanation. And this is really, in conversion disorder, keep in mind, when you get those psychogenic non-epileptic seizures, okay, that's, that's where you're going to put these in the conversion disorder category. Uh, if you work in psychiatry, you get, this, you get consults on these all the time, the psychogenic non-epileptic uh, seizures. And again, with these, uh, the psychogenic non-epileptic seizures, it, there's really a lack of uh, postictal, okay, right? They, they don't have that piece, uh, per se. Uh, typically no loss of bowel or, bowel or bladder issues like you would in a classic seizure. And sometimes it's worse uh, with treatment, uh, actually. So anyways, psychogenic non-epileptic seizures under conversion disorder uh, as well. And uh, then we have depersonalization, derealization. Now, if you're lucky, they're going to put these in the same answer choice, right? But just in case they don't, depersonalization okay you're going to think this is a dissociation from self okay dissociation from uh the your self you feel like um you, you know you're you're looking at your your own thoughts your own emotions you're kind of like reflecting back onto yourself derealization is a dissociation from the environment Okay, that's when they people say, well, I feel like I'm in a movie. Everything outside of me doesn't feel uh, real. Okay, so that's the big difference. Depersonalization is a dissociation from yourself. The derealization is a dissociation from the environment. Okay, and then a dissociative identity disorder. This is your old uh, multi-personality, you know, multiple personality uh, disorder. They don't call it that anymore. They call it dissociative identity disorder. And that is just basically when you have two or more uh, distinct personalities, okay? And you're going to have gaps in recalling events. Now, here's one big piece, guys, and I'm going to make a separate video on this, is where I struggle with these, okay? Where I struggle with this entire type of question is you got to get rid of, and this is a big take-home point, get rid of your biases, okay? Because when I... <clears throat> You know, when I start seeing some of this stuff, depersonalization, derealization, dissociative identity, you know, I have this, this I have this self bias of, come on, guys, uh, you know, per se to the patient and saying, you know, this is real. I mean, you know, if there was an answer choice, you know, the last one was malingering, I'd be circling that one the whole time, right? It's like, come on, can this be really be real? But when you're taking the exams, try to remove your bias and then just understand really what information are they giving me and what answer choice best fits this question. Get rid of your bias because I'm telling you, you're going to put answer choices. You know, if malingering was here, I'd be all over it, but that's really not what they're asking. This one feels, woman presents to the emergency complaints of feeling attached from her body, and this is after, <coughs> began in her late teens, uh, but it's occurring more frequently since she moved to the area. So when she moves to an area, I got to think there's more stress, new job, 
Um, and maybe that's kind of reflecting back to an earlier time where she had stress when she was a teen, but she's feeling detached from her body. And if it's detached from your body or your self, I gotta be going with uh, depersonalization, depersonalization. The uh, third answer choice or answer choice C would, would be my best choice here, okay? But you gotta know these guys. You gotta know your dissociative, uh, dissociative uh, definition and your dissociative answer choices, okay? Depersonalization, dissociation from self, derealization, dissociation from your environment, dissociative identity disorder, two personalities, gaps in recall, uh, and such. All right, next question says, what is the most appropriate diagnosis? Again, we're, we're down at depersonalization, derealization, dissociative amnesia with dissociative fugu, dissociative identity disorder, or conversion disorder. The question reads, a 47-year-old male man is treated at the emergency room after an altercation at a local bar. The man reports he has been living in the area for a few weeks, but reports he cannot recall who he is or, or where he is originally from. After further investigation, it is learned that he is from a neighboring town and was reported missing by family members. It is also revealed that he disappeared three weeks ago, the same time his, his wife had suddenly ended their marriage. What is the most appropriate diagnosis? And again, get rid of your bias, right? <laughs> Some of us might say, hey man, congratulations. Uh, but... What is this saying? This guy, this guy had a stressful event. He, you know, he got, and his marriage suddenly ended three weeks ago, and now he's in a new area and can't remember why or how he got there, okay? What are my answer choices? Depersonalization, again, that's dissociation from self. Derealization, dissociation from your environment. Dissociative amnesia, okay? That's inability to recall autobiographical, uh, autobiographical uh, information that you should normally remember, okay? Uh, so that's dissociative amnesia, meaning uh, all of a sudden I can't, rem or can't recall this time frame, I can't under explain why, and it's basic stuff, stuff that you should not forget, okay? And then the fugu is what? Basically, you're gonna associate that word with travel. So you can have a dissociative amnesia uh, issue and not have the travel piece, or you can have both, okay? And then dissociative identity disorder, remember that's two or more distinct personalities and you have gaps in your memory recall. Uh, and then you have conversion disorder, one or more symptoms, one or more symptoms of either motor or sensory function, and then you, you know, you essentially have some maladaptive behaviors. Now, in this situation, this guy had a stressful event, and you could call that an adjustment disorder, but that would not explain all of a sudden why he's like, uh, he disappeared, and then all of a sudden he can't recall events, okay? This is basically explaining what? He can't recall where he's from, so he's got this uh, dissociative amnesia, and there's a travel piece, right? He's in a new town, and can't remember how he got there. It's going to be your dissociative fugu. So again, uh, just in summary of this video, guys, remove your bias, okay? Remove your bias on that, because they may have a malingering choice down there, but but you got to understand really what fits this most appropriate Know your dissociative uh, diagnoses. Again, depersonalization is going to be dissociation from self. Derealization is, dissociate, is dissociation from your environment. Dissociative amnesia, inability to recall events, autobiographical events. And if you can add the dissociative fuga, which is the travel piece. Dissociative identity disorder, you're going to say two or more distinct personalities, gaps in events, okay? Uh, gaps in recalling the events, I'm sorry. And then conversion disorder, uh, one or more symptoms of altered uh, motory or sensory, and this is where you're going to put the psychogenic non-epileptic uh, seizures under that too. And then again, you could also have somatic symptom disorder, and that's an extreme focus on physical symptoms such as pain or fatigue. Hope it was helpful, guys. Mm -hmm.